Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing a huge problem many have when minting NFTs, and that's those pesky high gas fees. <laughs> oh, Michelle, that's so true. Right? I've had to back out of some projects because yeah. the gas fees to mint were ridiculously high on the Ethereum blockchain right now. So, Yep. Well, you've been in this game, the NFT game, a while. What tips do you have for people wanting to mint NFTs? Specifically, let's talk about the Ethereum, the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah. Um, but they're they're not sure um, or they're hesitant to even accept free NFTs because of the high gas fees. That's so true. Um, let's back it up a little bit uh, and let's talk about what gas fees are. Okay. Okay. Gas fees are what's required to pay to transact and it's called minting here okay. uh, on the ethereum blockchain and which is what we're discussing today now there's others like um cardano and solana but okay. uh this video we're just going to discuss the ethereum blockchain um so back to the gas fees they are fees that get paid to the miners for placing your transaction for you basically you're paying for the energy needed to make the transaction go through uh, gas is also called guai, get guai, guai. There's yeah. so many different, right? depends on what country you're from. I guess I've seen it pronounced multiple ways, G-W-E-I. And you will see someone say guai is 18 right now or seven right now. And I'm thinking the lower it is, the better it is for me, right? So gas fees, Michelle, are broken down into three sections. Basic gas, which is the mandatory minimum fee to process a transaction, um, a gas limit, yeah. the most that you are willing to pay for that transaction and a tip, the extra you're willing to pay to speed up the yeah. transaction. So, all right. Well, so quick question. How do you know how much you will pay for gas when you mint? Okay. Most of the time you won't know until you're ready to do the transaction because okay. it's fluctuating and it's determined yeah. by supply and demand. Okay. okay. So, when you got a popular project coming to mint, people rush to the door and FOMO takes place. You know, fear of missing out, right? When this happens, Michelle, everyone's trying to buy at once, and this will increase the gas prices of that project. So. And that's where you start to see it fluctuate quickly, very quickly. Okay. Yeah. So question, can you avoid gas fees altogether? Uh, you can't avoid paying them. There are gas price for every transaction with NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain, but you can limit the amount. Okay. So here's what I do to limit the amount that I pay. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'll set a limit of what I'm willing to pay. It's that simple. And if somebody wants to accept it, they will, they'll click the button, accept it, and I get my NFT, right? Um, also, watch for the best time of the day to mint yeah. okay and watch the gas prices so like right now i got my screen up that shows me what uh, at any given time what the ethereum is going for and what gas prices are going for uh gas price right now is 17 so it's middle of the road it's not too bad so i watch for that different times of the day when i see seven eight or nine in the single digits ooh, now's mm -hmm. the time. now it's time to do something if you're going to do something do it now so okay. um also if there's a big project that I'm, I want to get into, I don't have to be the first one in the door. Hold back a few minutes on making that transaction. Okay. So so do you literally mean a few minutes? So we're talking like one minute, 10 minutes, an hour? Um, so if it's a big project, Michelle, I'll sit back and literally watch the transactions, what's going through. And sometimes if the floor, gas floor continues to rise, you may want to go ahead and buy or you might just miss out on that project. So Okay. All right. So what other tips do you have to limit gas fees? Okay, here's a big one. Let's say you're getting into a big project and you're guaranteed a minting on the wait list. Okay, okay so let's say they're given a thousand spots to you, Michelle, for getting on a wait list. And when them thousand are minted, then they go to public mint, okay? You ain't got to rush to the door. They give you a time frame to get it done. Don't be the first one in, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wait for that. Cause you got your guaranteed spot. Got um, it. Also try to be involved in the project on Twitter or the discord and get tips from your community. Um, and I'll tell you exactly, you know, something happened to me just recently. I tried to get in this very popular mint, and the site was running really slow mm -hmm. basically because of the amount of traffic that was right. on there. Sure. 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 
gas was super high. Now this is a free mint. Gas was like 70 bucks nope. per transaction for a free mint. It's like, ah, you know, so I backed out of the mint. Yeah. Okay. And I went to OpenSea. Okay. Okay. Where ones were already showing up that were oh, already that had minted. Been minted. Right. Yeah. So think about this. Many flippers are trying to sell for a quick profit. So right. I clicked the buy now tab and I clicked bundle under the quantity. I found a flipper trying to sell two of the NFTs for like 65 bucks, including gas. There you go. So I grabbed two of them for what, ha you know, less than what I could have minted my own because of gas prices. And then when gas prices finally came down to get my free mint, I paid like four bucks to mint my free one. Right. So, and if you miss out on a free mint, there's going to be another one tomorrow. It's that simple. There, there's always another opportunity. Always. There is. Always, there is. Always. Don't overpay. I, Don't overpay. I used to, when I traded a lot, I would always have that little stick of note. There's always another opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, the sun rises tomorrow. So I always. Guess. All right. Is do you, have, do you have any other tips you want to share? Um, that's it, just just watch it. Be be involved. If you're gonna if you're gonna do NFTs be in the space, just like stocks. If you're going to be involved in the stock market, you're going to trade stocks, be right. involved say, and learn this stuff one step at a time. So, Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you to everyone who watched. If you like the content of this video, please help us grow this channel. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video from us. Definitely. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.